Well, he's known as Jason Lindsay, Mr. Science. He's back with some fun new science experiments. These are perfect for St. Patrick's Day. What have we got, Jason? Hi, Jason. Well, it has to do with leprechaun snots, a rainbow in your milk, and creating a rainbow in your kitchen or your living room. These are mind-blowing science experiments. Are you ready for them? Ready. Ready. <laughs> Let's start with leprechaun snot. Now, you'll notice, I'm going to show you a close-up of this. It's called my experiment cam, and you'll notice in this bowl right here, I have some glue and food coloring, and it's very runny, so either I have a sick kid or a leprechaun at my house. Which do you prefer at your house? Um, I, gee, I can't pick. <laughs> 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 well, what I'm going to do is take this stuff right here, a bunch of tiny pieces, and link them together with an activator, and watch this turn into real leprechaun snot. I'm going to pick it up. Look at that. Oh. Isn't that gross right there? Right. Yeah. It kind of sticks together. You don't want this in your kid's hair, but still, it's always fun to play with. It's a neat little science experiment. The kids have been doing it with slime. That one's awesome. Do you get a rainbow in your milk ever? No. No, not since the old Fruit Loop days. Yeah, so what I have right here, and you know, you can usually eat that rainbow or drink that rainbow, right? I have some whole milk, and that's important for this science experiment. Let's go back to the experiment can, and what you're going to notice here is I'm going to put bunches of drops of food coloring onto the surface. There is a surface tension, or the tiny pieces that make up the milk or holding hands really tight. Surface tension allows insects to walk on water. You'll notice the blobs right there. We're going to reduce that surface tension by adding something called dish detergent with a gigantic cotton swab. Watch what happens. Eyes on this right here and we're going to touch it and you're going to notice it's moving everywhere all over the place. It's a pretty cool science experiment to where you can mix the colors and create a rainbow wow. right there in your cereal. It's a cool experiment, right? Right. You find a pot of gold there, right? Yeah. What's yeah. next? Do we have time for one more? We yeah, sure do. Sure. Okay, when my wife wasn't looking this morning, I grabbed the hair dryer. Mm -hmm. It's quite a hair dryer. Does your co-anchor blow dry her hair with a blow dryer? Nice. <laughs> or his hair? Look at that. Probably not. You're going to keep quiet about that one, right? What I have over here are four colors of the rainbow. Uh, you know the colors of the rainbow. Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Four of my colors right here. Now, I can blow on this. <sighs> It doesn't go anywhere. But if I use the power of a leaf blower, watch what happens as I create a rainbow in my kitchen. Wow, wow. it goes everywhere. <laughs> uh -oh. It's all over the place. I promise I'm still here somewhere. Okay, I'm digging out. How are you? Did good. you like those experiments? That Which was very great. good. What does that prove? It's just fun, Larry. Oh, I thought there might be a lesson involved in the leaf blower. Oh, there is. It's called Bernoulli's Principle, Larry. I was away from my computer, so I didn't hear your question. Ah. Basically, it's how airplanes fly. So you put a fast flow of air on top of the airplane wing. You create a low pressure on top, high pressure underneath. It lifts the plane up. So we lift it up, the oh. streamers, and push them through the room, creating a rainbow. Oh, Pretty and cool, I, right? I just thought it was Five really blowy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Larry to ask the science question. Wow. All right. Who knew? Thanks, Jason. You can follow Hooked on Science on Facebook and Instagram or go to hookedonscience.org. Thanks again. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, Jason. Hey, Mike.